Hi guys. Um, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been, uh, a lot of stuff happened. I stayed with one of my Instagrams, so I guess she didn't really want me to do it, so I left. And, uh, I didn't have any crutches, so I had to, you know, I to leave. Just that. I still have my foot, because it is isn't. I'm sure you guys. Still got it, but, um, I've been trying to figure out a way to take them out because the doctors want me to pay them $300 to surgically remove the uh, staples, which I don't have. So I'm um, kind of, I tried to use one of those like safe removers, but not like a surgical one, like the, the normal stuff you, you know, get the office thing and it didn't work out that great. And uh, so, I'm oh, sorry, this doesn't look like. Uh, very productive video. I wish I had more to offer, but I'm actually at a McDonald's right now because I don't have internet and I haven't paid my phone bill because I don't have funds to do that. So I am I'm at the winds of wherever I can have Wi-Fi. And my friends, uh, other friend, different friend, not my friend that I was staying with before. Uh, I'm staying at his place now, and uh, yeah, I guess I am just um, trying to figure out how I'm going to get these staples out of my foot so that I can start continuing on my voyage and start, you know, doing dad's work and going to different places and meeting new souls and, you know, um, I guess hopefully see, planting that seed. I've seen them so that they can come to know um, God. And uh, you'll notice I'm wearing my glasses because um, why not? I really don't need them that much, but I do it for aesthetics. But uh, yeah. You know, I'm just trying to stay above, stay above water and, and, you know, keep myself occupied. I've been reading more. Um, I was reading Leviticus and Exodus. And uh, it's kind of boring because, you know, you're reading about the, the tabernacle and then the, uh, the like, the covenant, Ark of the Covenant and how they made it, you know, with, like, the, the fine linen, purple linen, and uh, it was made within and within, without gold and stuff. Personally, I, th I think it's boring reading a lot of you know that stuff because that's not really. It's not really talking about people. It's just talking about stuff, and I'm not really a fan of stuff. But um, I don't really know what else to say. I forgot to bring my Bible. I was in a rush. My friend asked me if they wanted to drop me off, and then that whole you know because he had to go and run some errands, and without even me thinking about it, you know, he dropped me off, and then I thought. I was, I was, you know, looking for my bow when I was like, oh no, I looked on a dresser. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to read from, from the passage, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the case, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, you guys know that I'm alive and well, and I'm not, not dead. I'm dead yet. But... Um, anybody who's watching this and who, you know, uh, knows a thing or two about removing staples or maybe has a surgical staple remover or maybe would be down to help me out and take them, take them out if, if you're, if you're up for it, um, I, I doubt I'm going to find anybody who wants to do that or even, uh, even has the item, but if you do, you know, that would help because I did, I did ask my friend's friend, not somebody I knew, but somebody that my friend knows. If he could buy one, I gave him money for it. Um, it wasn't expensive; it was like four or five bucks on eBay. But you know, it was supposed to come in on the 13th, and it's obviously not the 13th. It's much later than the 13th, so um, I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know if he didn't do it; he said he did, or if he just you know forgot about it, or maybe the shipping is different. It's supposed to take longer. I don't know because my friend's texting him, and he hasn't responded back, and. You know, so it's kind of annoying not being able to, not being able to take these things out. The sooner I can do that, the sooner that these holes in my foot can, can heal up and I can start going out and doing things. And, 
you know, I can't, I can't really do anything because, you know, walking takes a lot of strain when you got staples in your foot. And, uh, you know, every step feels like jabs, kind of. You can't have that when you're walking and, uh, you know, go taking greyhounds to new cities and seeing what God wants you to do and, you know, meet people. So hopefully somebody sees this and wants to help out. And, you know, if you're down, you know, I'm down to let you take out the staples to yourself if you want. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm just... I'm just grabbing my straws here. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Just, it's just been on my way in my mind. These staples in my foot. And originally I was supposed to take them out on the 21st last month. That fell through because, you know, um, stuff. And then. I had another appointment set on the fifth, but then that fell through too because you know I uh, I just didn't have funds to pay them to do it. So, but I will say this though: I do have pain meds, so I'm saving them for when I actually have a foolproof way of getting all these out in one swoop. You know, because I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste a single thing, and that's a very important thing because. You know, if I waste that, if I waste this pain meds, then, well, shoot, then I'm, you know, so I don't want to do that. I want to just get these things out as soon as possible so I can heal up. It'll probably take maybe a couple days or so to heal, you know, heal the holes in my, in my foot after the staples and stuff. Um, once that's done, then I can start to plan how I'm going to do this and go in to, you know, my friend also, uh, he was telling me that there was somebody he knows that wants to go on a, on a, I said journey. He wants to go on a, on a journey too. And uh, I'm not even sure where I'm going to go. I've just been asking, I've just been asking dad what he wants me to do and seeing what Jesus is, is planning. And, you know, he's, he's been pretty quiet. He hasn't really told me anything or, or sent me any, any, details and messages so I guess this is kind of the time for me to just sit sit down and rest up because I noticed that um, I've been sleeping a lot not in a bad way I mean it is bad to sleep a lot but I was going full force for a long time as I usually do and I don't give my time body time to rest and I noticed that I felt I felt a whole lot better I felt a whole lot better now than I have in a long time so maybe that's my answer. Maybe he just wants me to sit down and take a break for a second before I go. Because once I go, I'm gone, and you know, of course he's gonna send people my way, and you know, I'll, I'll don't need to worry about food or whatever. Because he'll he, he provides. And I've seen it, and I've I mean, I've, I've physically seen it. Like like you know, I've been thirsty. As, there's been times when I've gone out, not really too far, not like states away, but you know, maybe a city away or so, or, you know, pretty, pretty far from my standards, and, and when I'm, when I've been thirsty or hungry, like, he just sends somebody immediately, and I'm like, you know, um, I want to make it sound like, you know, he, he caters to everyone, but he doesn't, you know, he just gives you what he, you need, and when you need it, and, you know, we, we, he gives us his, he gives us his riches from from his. You know, he gives us he gives us his blessings from his according to his riches. I forget the how the specific Bible verses, but you know he gives us he gives us what what he feels we we need and deserve. And I don't feel like I deserve you know any of his blessings, but he gives them anyway. And you know he continues to let me know that he's always there with me. And he loves me. I'm sure as he does to you guys too. Cause it's nice to it's nice to have encouraging words when you have the enemy always you know, angry and looking for ways to deceive you or to trick you or to make you do things that you shouldn't do. And, you know, these things have actually been pretty pissed off, angry, I should say, or being angry because I haven't, you know, succumbed to anger or wrath or, you know, coveting or things like that. And, uh, you know... They're the enemy. What do you expect? You know, they're gonna wanna try to run, ring your, ring your head down the dirt and, and, and drag you all around the mud. But it's not gonna work. Um, 
I wish I had some kind of advice to give in this video, but I don't. I'm just, this is purely just a video to try and see who is down to help out. Down to help one of their brothers out. <laughs> help your brother out. Help your, one of your brothers out and, you know, take these staples out. Um, so if you have a surgical staple remover or if you have a way to get one and you want to help out and take them out, um, I am totally down for that and I'll tell you exactly where I am in the city of San Antonio. I haven't left yet because obviously I have these things in my foot I can't do anything with them. When these things aren't in my foot, I can go pretty far. But when these things are in my foot, I can't go anywhere. I can barely go down a block or two. So that's, you know, it's kind of my hindrance. So yeah, if you can, please let me know and I will greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to stop the video because it's rambling on, so thank you. Thank you.